Hello, I'm Ben Plincher, Chairman of Blue Bonnet Electric Cooperative's Board of Directors. Welcome to Blue Bonnet Milestones 2015. We've had a remarkable year. In 2015, we reorganized our Board of Directors into six committees that have oversight over every aspect of our business. These committees and we as directors could not be successful without the support of our members and the great work of our Blue Bonnet employees. Each director who chairs these committees will share with you their committee highlights. Let's begin by taking a look at our Legal and Governance Committee, chaired by Milton Shaw. Thank you, Ben. A major milestone for Blue Bonnet last year was the settlement of lawsuits related to the 2011 Bastrop Complex fire. Thanks to a well-planned and well-executed legal strategy, Blue Bonnet came through the most challenging period and event in its history, with no negative financial impact to its members. In fact, we are as strong today financially and operationally as we ever have been. Two very important factors contributed to our legal success. First, for more than 75 years, our employees have been committed to providing outstanding service to our members every day, in the office or in the field, in all situations and conditions. Second, our members have recognized our employees' commitment. One of the positive outcomes of our legal strategy is our ability to give back to the communities we serve. Some of the money from the settlement went to the Bastrop Fine Arts Guild for the Lost Pines Arts Center, and some went to establish the Blue Bonnet Community Grants Program. Now, Roderick Emanuel and other directors will tell you more about a few other milestones in 2015. Thank you, Milton. We're doing great things for our members and communities. One of the most exciting milestones last year was Blue Bonnet's Board of Directors unanimous vote to establish a community grants program. The first round of grants was awarded in November and checks were delivered in December. I am standing in the Rosenwald School. It's one of the 38 organizations awarded a Blue Bonnet community grant. We awarded a total of $1.2 million. This money also went to volunteer fire departments, food banks, children's and women's advocacy groups, community centers, and healthcare and disaster relief organizations. 2015 also marked the 10-year anniversary of Blue Bonnet's Call Center. Our Call Center professionals help several thousand members every week with routine billing inquiries, helping members structure their payment arrangements, and making sure requests for service are handled quickly and efficiently. It's been 10 great years. We're proud of our member service representatives and look forward to many more years of providing outstanding service. Another important way we communicate with our members is through social media, especially Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We have more than 1,600 followers on Twitter. And on Facebook, we have more than 5,500 likes. We encourage everyone to check out our social media sites, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Now, Robert McKeska will tell you about the great things related to our Energy Services Committee, which he chairs. Thanks, Roderick. Most people don't think about where their power comes from or how it gets to their home or business. That's okay, because we do. Wholesale power accounts for about 60 cents of every dollar our members pay on their electric bill. We purchase 90% of that power from the Lower Colorado River Authority and 10% from San Antonio's CPS Energy. We continuously monitor the wholesale power market and work with the LCRA to reduce cost at every opportunity. A key provision in our contract with LCRA enables us to buy a portion of our power from the wholesale market. Five years ago, we exercised that option and signed a contract to purchase 10% of our power from CPS Energy at a considerably lower rate, resulting in significant savings for our members. In 2015, we purchased a new mobile substation here behind me, the second in our fleet. This new state-of-the-art mobile substation can be installed when one of our permanent substations needs maintenance, improving reliability, or when an unplanned outage occurs at a substation 
that may take several hours, days, or weeks to fix. This new mobile sub can be installed in a matter of hours to any location in our 3,800 square mile service territory, reducing outage durations. Also, to improve reliability and reduce outage durations, we began looking for potential locations for satellite service centers near Maynard and San Marcos. Locating satellite service centers near these areas would improve response times, reduce outage durations, and help recruit employees from communities on the western side of our service territory. Lastly, in 2015, our staff developed a new vegetation management strategy designed specifically for our service territory. We used the Texas A&M Forest Service wildfire threat classification map to our service territory, the types of vegetation along each feeder, and our own knowledge and expertise to develop a three-level scale. The level assigned to each feeder will determine how often it's inspected, every two to three years, five to seven years, or eight to ten years. This strategy emphasizes the frequency that feeders are inspected, improved documentation, and independent third-party audits of feeder inspections to ensure our integrity and effectiveness. Now let's hear from Russell Yerk, the chairman of our Audit and Finance Committee. Thanks, Robert. There were two milestones out of the Audit and Finance Committee in 2015. One of the benefits of being a co-op member is that excess revenue is shared with members in the form of capital credits. Capital credits accumulate over time. Each year, Blue Bonnet's board approves the amount returned to the members based on the impact it will have on electric rates and the co-op's financial strength. Last year, we returned $3.9 million to current and former members. In 2014, we offered early retirement of capital credits at a discounted rate to estates. This enabled the estates to be closed out and their executors to distribute funds in a timely manner. It also helped build the co-op's permanent equity and strengthen it financially. We continued the program in 2015. Mostly through word of mouth from members, we had many more estates come forward so that we can include them in any future early retirements. This program has been a win for the estates, the members, and the co-op. We hope to continue to offer future early retirements. That's a financial benefit of being a co-op member, and here's another one. We reduced the rate members paid for electricity three times in 2015. Two factors determine your electric bill, the electric rate and the electric consumption. The three pieces of the electric rate are the wholesale portion, the distribution portion, and the fuel portion. Natural gas is used to generate about half the power in Texas. As the price of natural gas changes, we pass along the savings or increased cost to our members by adjusting the power cost recovery factor. Because of strong performance by our wholesale providers, primarily at the Lower Colorado River Authority, and low natural gas prices, we reduce the power cost recovery factor three times, each time by a half cent or a total of one and a half cents in 2015. The average Blue Bonnet residential member uses about 1,200 kilowatt hours of electricity each month. After the three half cent reductions last year, the average member is paying about $18 less each month on their electric bill. That's money our members get to keep in their pockets. Now let's hear from Ken Mutcher, the chairman of the Employee Services Committee. Thanks, Russell. We're proud of our employees and the environment and culture we have created at Blue Bonnet. Recruiting the right employees and training them is critically important to our success. In 2015, we revised our interview process. We've always made sure potential employees have the skills and experience to do the job. Now we ask questions during interviews to make sure potential employees will adapt to our foundation values and culture. We aren't just hiring employees, we are hiring a Blue Bonnet employee. In the past, Blue Bonnet used leadership training programs that were good, but didn't cover everything we wanted. So in 2014, we created our own leadership training program centered on our six foundation values. Every employee went through foundation value training in 2014 and 2015. It's been a great success and highly beneficial. Sadly, we lost two members of our Blue Bonnet family last year. Kenny Rowland, a journeyman lineman in our Red Rock Service Center, suddenly and unexpectedly died in January. Kenny started working for Blue Bonnet in 1980 
and during his 35-year career, worked his way up to crew supervisor. He was a natural leader at work and in the community. Judy McKeska lost her courageous battle with cancer in October. She started working for Blue Bonnet in 2001 as a meter reader in the Brenham District Office. She worked her way up to work order closeout representative in 2007. Kenny and Judy were part of our family. They were much loved and highly dedicated to their jobs, co-workers, and our members. They're greatly missed by everyone who worked with and knew them. Now here's Suana Tomlinson to tell you about our technology milestones. Thanks, Ken. I'm in the control center at Blue Bonnet's headquarters in Bastrop. This is where all of our technology intersects to provide our members with safe, reliable power. Our technology platform ensures our members can track their electric consumption and cost on a daily or even hourly basis through our website and mobile app, and that the electric bill is accurate. Last year, we redesigned our mobile app to make it more user-friendly, reliable, and more closely resemble our website's options and navigation. Nearly 36,000 members access their account information or request service through our mobile app and website. Our redesigned mobile app now enables members to do more from their smartphone or tablet. Also in 2015, we began to develop a new concept that will enable our members to choose the rate package that best suits their lifestyles, called Blue Bonnet Choice. Our members will be able to select where they want their power to come from traditional or renewable generation, and a rate design that fits their energy use and budget. Another cool and exciting technology we began looking at last year is self-service kiosks. These convenient, easy to use kiosks can offer our members the option to pay their bill or conduct business 24 seven. This is cutting edge technology for our members and it's why Blue Bonnet stands a cut above the rest. Blue Bonnet Choice will provide our members with similar choices available to consumers in areas where they can choose their electric power while providing all the benefits of being a co-op member. We have a lot of work to do on Blue Bonnet Choice, self-service kiosk, and the numerous other technology projects we have planned in 2016 and beyond. But we are very excited about them and the potential benefits these services will provide our members. Now, let's hear from Deputy General Manager Matt Binky. Thanks, Suana. 2015 was anything but a normal year. For an electric distribution utility, weather plays a huge role in every aspect of our business. The Blue Bonnet region experienced a significant wind and rain event on the eastern side in April, a tremendous storm and rain event on Memorial Day, a flash drought from July to October, the Hidden Pines fire, as you can see behind me and all around me, in October of 2015, and a tornado and flooding caused significant damage to our electric system on October the 30th. Along with these four major events, some areas of Blue Bonnet's territory received twice the amount of rainfall that's expected on an annual basis. Those tremendous unplanned events challenged us, challenged our reliability, our cost, expectations for safety, and especially our unrelenting pursuit of outstanding service to the members of Blue Bonnet and the communities we serve. Once again, the character and resilience of Blue Bonnet employees, Blue Bonnet's board of directors, and most importantly, Blue Bonnet's members came together to work together to answer the challenge. Last year, the Blue Bonnet team demonstrated a level of service that is rarely experienced today. Congratulations on an outstanding year. We are proud to serve with you.